Welcome back to Golden Goose in my Road to Glory series that follows halfback James Brown, a living legend. Well, a great grandson of a living legend. He is Jim Brown's great grandson, and he's hoping to follow in the footsteps of his great grandfather and rise to NFL greatness by running through high school and then college and then obviously, hopefully, getting drafted one day. Now, it is decision day for James Brown, and that means he has to pick a college that he's going to commit to for the next four years. Now, he's got a ton of great options here. Lots and lots of them. Look at this. Look at these options. So many. He can literally go anywhere he wants. We got six star prestige schools, five star, four star, all the way down to three. And Syracuse is where Jim Brown went to college. Now, obviously, if he wants to follow in the footsteps of his great grandfather, he could go there. But this has been a very tough decision that's been plaguing James Brown for a while. Like, for example, he could go to Alabama, play for the number one school, and be one of the best out there. But he probably would be somewhere around the third or fourth string mark. Pretty much at all these top schools, he'd probably be third or fourth string there's not a lot of starting opportunity for him in his freshman season as a lot of colleges are full up on halfbacks here in signing day we can see where some of his better opportunities are west virginia and utah are willing to give him that second string spot now these are middle of the road teams sitting in the mid 80s so they have potential and they're in great conferences to go to a natty in his four-year career now if we continue down here, there's no other second string offers. The next best would be third string. And all of these teams are really good contenders. I really like Vanderbilt as well. They're in the low 80s to mid 80s. They're already ranked in the top 25. He'd be a third string back, but they are in the SEC, which means he'd have a lot of tough competition. All of these teams have great conferences, are pretty solid programs, and, I mean, all could contend for a national championship in the next four years, so this decision's pretty tough. Now, I thought about walking on to a school, and I don't think we're going to do that. You know, we want the XP bonus of getting that scholarship and going to a school that truly wants our talent, so we're not going to consider any walk-ons. So that means Alabama is out of the picture. They didn't quite commit and give us a scholarship, even though they were 100% interested. Now, what I am very interested in is Ohio State, but they're so highly ranked and such a great team, I just don't really know if that's the perfect fit for James Brown even though it's in Ohio and he'd be very welcome there but I just don't know how good of a fit it truly is the SEC is a great conference we have offers from Auburn Georgia and then if we continue down we have Tennessee and also Vanderbilt now all of those teams are solid teams Vanderbilt 83 overall Tennessee 86 overall Georgia 91 Auburn 88 I mean these are solid programs five-star prestige in Auburn and Georgia and hey Georgia is where he played his high school football so he'd be very well welcome there but he would be a fourth string halfback and the offense isn't quite geared up for heavy running games so I mean Auburn does seem a little bit better in the sense of running the rock and they are an 88 overall team so not quite 90 overall but over the next couple years they definitely could get there and become one of the bigger heavy hitters in the SEC but Tennessee, I mean, they were on our list. They've been one of the beloved programs we would love to have gone to since the very beginning. And they're 86 overall with a nice spread offense. But again, fourth string. Even our great-grandfather's alma mater, Syracuse, is only willing to give us a third-string spot. Now, we could bring Syracuse back to greatness. They are the worst team on the list at 81 overall with an 83 offense and an 80 defense. The only thing that would worry me about Syracuse is if recruiting falls off. Over the next couple years, this team could be in the mid-70s and never really qualify for a national championship. Their ACC schedule is pretty tough, but, I mean, if the team gets worse and worse from this point, there might be no chance of competing for a natty. Another ACC team, we have Georgia Tech. That's keeping it kind of local. That's a fourth string spot. Along with North Carolina, that is a third string spot. So, I mean, we have the Big 12, we have the Pac-12, we have the Big 10, we have the SEC. All just amazing conferences that I would love to play for. Um, USC, another one we could bring the greatness of Reggie Bush back to USC, even though we're not a speed back, we're more of a power guy. But fourth string, you know, we might not be looking at a starting job until sophomore season, if that. And that same goes with Stanford. Stanford is a very prestigious program as well. USC is not ranked, so we truly would be bringing them back to greatness after the days of Pete Carroll being their head coach. Stanford already is in the top five, so they're a solid program. Ohio State has one of the toughest stadiums to play at. You're playing in front of like 90,000 people. That would be very interesting. But again, I'm kind of drawn to West Virginia and Utah with these second string spots. I don't know if I want to play in the Big 12, but playing for Utah 
in the Pac-12 might not be a half bad move. Utah is 86 overall, 84 offense, and a solid defense at 87 overall. So the other side of the ball would be covered if James Brown could do his job on offense and their quarterback solid. I could see this team being a team that can compete for the Pac-12 championship, maybe by sophomore or junior season, and definitely get to the national championship before the end of James Brown's career. But then again, the SEC and the ACC, such an alluring conference. And I mean, Ohio, where his great grandfather is right now with the Cleveland Browns. We would be at Ohio State in Columbus, Ohio. And I mean, they're just so good, though. That's the problem. Like, I don't know when he would see the field, but when he does see it, he'd be a very solid halfback, probably one of the nation's best. So, I mean, I I'm going around in circles. This decision is tough to make, but you cannot deny the opportunity to play Alabama in the SEC with Auburn. Uh, another Alabama team, but not the Alabama team, okay? Taking the second best team in Alabama and trying to replace them on the throne and help them wear the crown of the state of Alabama would be a very fun feat. Now, Auburn isn't a bad team by any means. 88 overall and 90 defense, a great offense. I mean, and we would be a third string back, so I mean, not starting right out of the gates, but Auburn playing for the Tigers, I mean, in the SEC. At halfback in the South where college football reigns supreme. I mean, that's where I think James Brown belongs. And that's where we're going to, going to commit right now. Auburn Tigers, baby. We're going to let him wear the number 40, I think. 40 is a good number. Let's go. Actually, let's go with 42. I like that. Now, here is the depth chart for Auburn. Look at this. James Brown is an 81 overall halfback right now he's sitting at number three we're really close to taking over Colby Sanders who's 82 overall he's a junior and right now a junior is also getting the start his name is Michael Rawls he's 90 overall that's going to be a ways out I really feel a running back competition or maybe split time could really be a factor if we can take this number two spot behind center we have a sophomore Peter Hunter not very good he has okay speed so we might be able to run the option here and he is pretty young so I mean he could grow into being a better quarterback back a junior backing him up and a freshman is in the third spot Goff Smith though if he can get a little bit of an edge here he's got more speed and a bit more acceleration than Hunter so I mean if Smith can move up to number two on the depth chart he might be competing for a starting job maybe next season so he's someone to watch wide receiver wise we're not very very deep but we're still pretty solid all around 85 overall junior Stanley Stewart then we have a sophomore Eric Vaughn in second position Kevin Gatson, another junior at 84 overall. Joe Cole, another junior. Russ Beach, a freshman. And then Dante Bates, another freshman. So we have a few junior wide receivers. We haven't seen any seniors really on the team. So a relatively young team. So by the end of our sophomore season, most of these guys will be gone. And then going into our junior year, we're going to have some fresh recruits. So hopefully in the next two years of recruiting goes really well for Auburn. And we can maybe look forward to a more uh, powerful team, maybe in the mid-90s, lower 90s. And we'll definitely have a chance at the national championship with that kind of team. Tight end-wise, I mean... They're decent. Uh, we have junior, junior, and a freshman. Freshman's pretty good. I mean, he's coming in. He's a red shirt, so I, I, I honestly think he's going to be a very big powerhouse. I like some of the freshmen we have deeper down on the depth chart. They're not half bad. So, I mean, over the next couple years, when we lose some of these players, they're going to be ready to step up, I think. Fullback, a senior. He's an All-American. Jonathan Owen, he's going to be leading the charge blocking for us. So I'm excited to see that we actually have a pretty solid fullback. So we get 10,940 points for accepting a scholarship. I mean, we can get Heisman time, which gives us stiff arm strength and carrying. Doesn't really help our overall, so it's not something we're really interested in right now. So obviously, being third on the depth chart, we got to go into some practice. Uh, we are on Heisman difficulty for offense and defense. This is going to be extremely interesting. I think it's going to be a tough challenge. And, I mean, let's go look at our schedule a little bit. So let's go to advance week. So we have Washington State, then Arkansas State, then Mississippi State, then LSU. I mean, we're not going to be starting, I think, for any of these games. Uh, then we get a bye. I mean, if we work really hard in practice, well, we probably will miss the old Miss game. Maybe we can get some time in the FCS game. Uh, and maybe by Texas A&M or later in the season we can start. But, oh, my God, look at this schedule. Bama to end the season off. Georgia towards the end of the season. Tennessee, all teams we could have went to. Texas A&M. So, uh, this is a, so LSU, this is a powerhouse schedule that Auburn is going to be facing this year. And I hope we can get some play time. But let's head to practice. As you can see, the difficulty is Heisman Heisman. 
So uh, let's see how our quarterback, James Brown, plays in college. We won the high school national championship or state championship. We we went through all the games. We, we had a great season and I had a great high school career. Now let's take it to the next level. Oh boy, here we go. We got some option running. Come on, pitch it out to us. There we go, James Brown in the open field. Lowering our head down to the 20. That looked good. I'm telling you, James Brown wearing the number 42. That, that looks really good. And these unis, man. I am excited to be playing for Auburn. Not going to lie. Oh, the footwork. Oh, man. Auburn's got a pretty solid squad. 88 overall offense, 90 overall defense. I mean, I think we're going to do some damage this year. I mean, our schedule is very, very tough. We got so caught up there. The screen passes are really hard to run. But our defense, I mean, our defense is really good. Our offense is going to be solid. We're a third string running back, so I don't know how much time we're going to see this year. But I honestly think if, if you look at our depth, and some of the freshmen we have lower on the depth chart. We have some solid chances here at being pretty good. God dang it. I should probably lower the difficulty for practice because I know practice can be ridiculously tough. Uh, that was a little off the mark. Bad call for a pass. They docked me like 10 points. Oh, man, I'm going to have to be really ready for this. The, the screens, I always get caught up in the offensive line. It seems like Auburn likes to run a lot of screen passes. Um, and it looks like we ran a couple option plays so far. I mean, we can't really take that one. We're smothered. He gets smothered. We're gaining nothing here. We're just trying to keep our spot on the team right now. That's, I mean, that's what it seems like we're trying to do. Brown's going to find a few yards up the middle there. You guys can let me know what you want me to do in practice. Do you want me to go on a lower difficulty so we can see the field a little bit sooner? I still think on a lower difficulty like varsity, it'll still be like before the end, a little bit before the end of the season before we see the field. But, I mean, let me know your thoughts. I mean, I wouldn't mind splitting time. Oh, see ya later. Oh, James Brown in practice taking it all the way back to the house. That's going to be some points. Ooh, that's some points. Look at that. That is some spicy points. Okay, waiting for the snap. Brown up the center. Oh, man, he breaks one and almost breaks a second one. They really punish us. If we lose one yard, we lose like 20 points. That's, that's a little ridiculous. Look at this. This is going to cost us, like, all the points we made today. Oh, no. Let's see what we can do on the counter. We haven't really ran any counters today. I mean, if we can pick up a block or two. Ooh, that looked good. Okay, we're finding a first down. For that big run, we got 10 points, but we lose, like, 15 when we lose any yards. And on these screens, it's hard to stay behind the offensive line. I'm, like, trying, and it, it like, sucks you into them, which I hate. 10 reps left in this practice. I mean, uh, got to cut out, cut back in. I mean, we got good vision. I mean, we're making good cuts. We just want that second string spot. That's what we really want. That spot would give us a chance to potentially get some type of reps in game. Oh, come on. The quarterback's got to wait for us to make the cuts on these on these screens. Maybe I won't make a cut. Maybe I'll just call for the ball up the center. Ah, okay, here we go. Some option running. This should be pretty solid. Nope, we're, we're swollen up. Oh, my God. Only five more reps left in practice. I mean, that one was, is that, that's not on me. That is not on me. Don't you dare. Okay. I didn't even want that ball. I did not want that ball. Oh, god dang it, dude. I can't I can't catch. Like, we're not on the same page. Okay, we gotta we gotta be ready for this. Oh, I dropped it! Dude, James, hold on to it. Come on. Come on. Jump on the quarterback. Give me a chance. Yes. Okay, Brown's got it. Gonna run a man over. Run a second man. Oh my god. Give us a thousand points for that. We ran three dudes over. Plus eight? Oh, we got 13 points for that. Wow. Getting the ball, running up the middle, breaking one, and that's going to be like three points. Keep working, and soon you'll be able to challenge the next string. Well, awesome. Our first game is against Washington State University. Kirk's going to side with Auburn here. I mean, we're a bit better than them on paper, so I hope our boys can get it done. I don't know if we're going to see the field in this one. I got to set the quarters not to three minutes. We got to go to like seven. I think seven's probably pretty good. Oh my God. We're going to see the field in this game as a kick returner. I did not see this coming. Wait, should we take it out? It's pretty deep into the end zone. Why not? We're taking it out. Oh, bad decision. <laughs> bad decision made worse. 22 yards still, but we're down at the 15. I mean, I got a little greedy. Now, I don't think we're going to see the field on offense, but oh my God, we scored seven right away. And I don't think we're a punt returner. We are a punt returner. Whoa, okay, so we're a punt returner and kick returner for the Auburn Tigers. James Brown, everybody. Now, this punt's going to be pretty deep. James trying to hype up the crowd. I mean, he's just a third-string running back. He's going to let that one bounce out of the end zone, hopefully. I mean, no one grabbed it. It did touch back. Ooh, good. 14 to nothing, and now it's time to, for hopefully James Brown to take one back. 
Can we take one back to the house? I believe in Brown, and I think we can do it. His great-grandfather is watching from home, I hear. Jim Brown, the legend. Up in the air, I mean, maybe we can cut back to the right side of things. Whoop, gotta go back up this way. It's the left side of things. 11 yards, that's a pretty good punt return. Auburn is making Washington State look funny. It's 17 to nothing and they're punting again. And we're earning a lot of coach trust just returning these punts. So the practices, who cares about those? But returning punts and kicks, that earns, no wait, well, let's return it. Okay, well, we're gonna let that bounce out. We're, I guess, making strategic moves. 30 to nothing, I mean, we have 363 yards of offense. Maybe we're gonna get some time at halfback, who knows? I mean, if we're blowing Washington State up by the end of this game, we might get some reps, maybe just a couple. We'll have to see. We gotta make sure that everyone can stay healthy. Whoop, gotta go. Oh, a little bit of a juke move. 13 yards. Longest punt return of his career. Four down and one. Washington State hasn't done anything. There's 12 seconds left. Now, Brown, you return this no matter what, okay? That's what I really, really want from you. Do not jump off of this. Here we go. We got this. Turn, block? Turn around, dude. The guy didn't even block for us. And they didn't do anything to start the second half. It's 37 to nothing. Look at us on the jumbo drawing up there. Hey, everybody, come on, hype. Auburn Tigers, baby. We're gonna make Alabama football great again. Who needs the Crimson Tide? You got the Tigers. Okay, they're punting from their own nine now. I mean, we're gonna be able to return this one. Let's take this one back to the house. Let's make this house loud. Maybe we could compete for second string in the, in the next practice if we have a really good bunt return here and, and gain a ton of coach trust. Oh yeah, get the block, see you later. Rah, that was a good return, 28 yards. Oh, we're part of the field goal block unit too? Woohoo! we're wearing multiple hats. James Brown, who would have said taking a scholarship to Auburn in a freshman year wouldn't pay off? Poop, oh, almost had that. Time to return this kick, kick to Brown. God, you guys are lame. That's too deep, we're not taking, don't take that back. Okay, good. Yep, time to block the extra point. Pumping this crowd up. They know that they gotta get loud. James is gonna get back there. Nope. Here we go. This is what I like to see right here. Kick it to the left or the right. There we go. We got a chance. We got a chance. Come on, guys. Block up the right side. Block up the right side. There we go. Get to that outside. God dang it. Trying to block this punt. Come on, on your feet, Tigers! It's 51 to 10. Uh, you guys probably head to the parking lot now. This game's well done and said for. And there we go, there we go. Let's, let's, the radio, here we go, gotta go. Oh God, that's 15 yards. Nice punt return, not our longest. Oh, and of course Washington State scores. Now they need the block machine, James Brown. Well, that didn't work. Uh-oh, onside kick. They're, they're changing things up last second. It's 51 to 17. They want a chance to win this. We haven't got any reps on offense, but we've been a special teams genius. Did we get that? I think we got it, we did. Wow, we are letting them score in this second half. It's 58 to 23. I mean, they don't have a chance of coming back, but it is a little nerve wracking. I think they're gonna go for the onside kick. Yep, they are. We are not gonna be a part of this. I wanna just be a part of the fun. James Brown's trying to impress everyone back home. A lot of people want him to go to Georgia and Syracuse and he went to Auburn. Some people are disappointed, his family. But he's trying to prove them that this was the right decision. Oh, the game is over. Wow, okay, we won 58 to 24. Rushing wise, obviously we didn't get anything going. Rawls had 15 carries for 61 yards, only averaging about four yards per carry. I mean, that's good, but come on, man. Give us, just give us a couple reps. Passing wise, Hunter was 27 for 38, 409 yards and three touchdowns. He did throw one interception, but he's looking pretty good. I mean, for his overall, that was a great performance. Receiving wise, Stanley Stewart, the junior, 10 receptions, 149 yards and two touchdowns. Definitely a favorite target. Washington State is unhappy with their poor showing against Auburn. I mean, it was pretty bad, not gonna lie. I mean, they're not much worse than us on paper, but yet that was a, that was a bad performance by Washington State. Our coach trust is so close to moving to second string, 89 out of 125. And I think I've decided I wanna keep it on Heisman and Heisman difficulty for the practice too, because it's not a ton of points we need and the games on special teams are earning us points. So this just makes it more realistic and fun. Now I think after this practice uh, and this episode, I'm not gonna show too much of the practices in the videos. Uh, I will show the position battles though, but you know, this episode we're gonna show the practices. It's all about joining the squad, getting used to the team, 
But then here on out, I think I'm going to skip practices in videos, obviously, uh, except the position battles because those are actually important. But otherwise, yeah, no more practices after today. I'll still do them, but you won't really see them unless, like I said, they're a position battle or something of significance. I mean, we're only like 32 points away from earning this position. We just can't lose any yards because it really just kills us. So I'm not going to try to bounce to the outside. Uh, I'm always going to try to stay inside and get at least those guaranteed couple of yards. I mean, unless there's a huge opportunity to bounce outside. Now, my goal is by the end of the season to be the starter for the Auburn Tigers. Obviously, we would love to have that starting job, but I think it's going to take almost the whole course of the season. Uh, at the lowest, I could see it taking like about eight games off the schedule, and then we still have a good four games left, but... On the higher end of things, it might be all all 12 games this season. Oh, intercepted. That wasn't my fault. I was running my route. 18 more coaching points to go until we have a chance to position battle. I mean, we fought for that one. I think we got nothing. Ah, 13-point loss? Come on. We lost like an inch. Now we got it. We got to get a big reception. We were always known for receptions in high school, but that <laughs> did we lose yards. Oh, we caught it, and I uh, guess we didn't lose yards, so great. 15 more reps to go. I mean, I think we can earn the position battle. If not, we'll definitely earn it in the special teams of this Arkansas State matchup. We just need some good blocks, I and mean, we're not getting any good runs right now here to the outside. We're going to make a man miss. Oh, if we could have went all the way, that would have been huge. Not grinding a lot of XP. We're going to have to see what kind of upgrades there are, because I forgot we have so many upgrade points. 12,000, because we're 81 overall right now. Second string's 82. And when we compete for that, oh, come on, no! Dude, you let him come through the gap like that? Ah, oh, minus 13, of course. Ooh, Wildcat. That's where it's at. I should have gave it off. I did give it off. Oh, he threw it? Okay, good. Now, it wasn't on my, my part. Now, we're coming in motion from the wide receiver position. This is, this is intense. Oh, yeah. That, oh, God. That looked good, though. Yeah, throw us out in receiving a little bit more. This is where we really shine. Oh, God dang it. Is that going to give me a bad call for a pass? No. Bit war 26. This is BS. That's all I got to say about that. Coach has something against us. Ah, God dang it. No. Dude, this coach is out to get us, man. One bad call for a pass, and he's like, yo, that's minus, minus 40 points. Trust. Why not? Then I could run for a touchdown from here, and he'd be like, plus 20 points. It just the, the weight that doesn't make sense. No. No, get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, come on. Counter play. This should be two yards. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to be a loss of yards, and we're going to lose a ton of points. My God. This practice is going right down the crapper. Okay, here we got three yards. Give us one point for that. We're going to need a lot of points in the game via special teams to really make up for this crappy practice. It was like four bad plays made this whole practice just not worth even doing. I should have just... Oh, God dang it. Should have just went to the game and played the special teams. Basically, if I call for the ball and I don't catch it, it's considered a bad call for a pass. So if I call for it, I better catch it. And there we go. There's a catch. We're going to make 500 points. Wow. Here's some skill upgrades. So we can get sprint champion. That's going to improve our acceleration and speed, which we pretty much badly need. I mean, we're a power back. We don't have the kind of speed. Little elf is a career boost to route running, or route running catching, and agility. And it's 12,000 points. It's really not worth it. So I think we're going to get sprint champion, increase our speed, our overall, and then we're going to sit on the points. Now, Arkansas State, they're not quite evenly matched up with us. We're a whole letter grade better than them in every category. It is in Auburn as well. Kirk's siding with us. So hopefully we can get it done. Oh, yeah. The Tiger fans are loud today. It's time for James Brown to take the opening kick back for a touchdown. Let's do it. <laughs> Just one touchdown, that's all I ask. Come on, James Brown, he's got, oh! Late out, but that's a 26 yard gain. Punt return time, I mean, this is probably gonna go out of the back of the end zone. Brown trying to get the crowd hyped up. It's seven and nothing. Auburn has the lead. Arkansas State couldn't do anything with their first drive. High punt, it's short, and it's gonna be returned. Whoop, ah, tried to turn on the spin cycle. That's only seven yards. 14 to nothing. Again, Arkansas State does nothing with this drive. And they're looking to punt. Let's see if they try to pop it high again or if they just try to knock it out of the back of the end zone. It's high and inside the 20. I'm going to try to... Oh, we make a man miss. We're still on our feet. And that's only six yards. Ooh, this is going to be this is gonna be an opportunity here. Maybe we can return this one for a touchdown. We just need some blocks. We don't, have, we don't quite have the speed, but... Ooh, ooh, this is right at the sideline. This might be an easy 10 yards, though. 
What? Bam! Run him over. God dang it. Nine yards. 17 to 6. They're trying to make it 17 to 7. Brown's got to stop it. Rip. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, of course we're not going to get to return this kick. 17 to 7. Two minutes left in this half of football. Brown has another opportunity here. This one's kicked high. And it looks like he's going to have an opportunity to return. Let's go, baby. Nope, that's not going to... Oh, if we could have broke that. We have 77 out of 100 coach trust. I thought we needed 125, but eh, we need 33 more. Here we are. Defense. Get this block, boys. That, that didn't work. This is a 10-point game, 24 to 14. This is an SEC matchup, too. We can't lose this one. And here we go. Come on, up the sideline. You didn't block this dude. You have one job, 35. 27 to 14, we're getting the ball back. Auburn needs a big return from James Brown. Rumor has it Jim Brown is watching on the telly back in Cleveland. Let's see what James can do. This one's high, he's got three guys in front of him. Leading the blocking effort. And uh, eight yards. 30 to 14, a 16 point game, 320 left in the third quarter. Brown is under this one. Blockers in front. Cutting to the other side, does he have the speed? No, he doesn't. Look at that, only four points away. We need that coach trust. Fourth down and four, they're punting it away here. Uh-oh, I was gonna say, he better pick up that block or Brown's gonna get laid out. Brown's got yardage. He had a bit of speed, 16 yards on the return. 20 point lead, they're looking to make it 19 here. Can Brown get back there? No, he can't. They never kick it to us over here. I Oh, oh yay, okay, finally. Okay, let's cut to the left, boys. Boys, okay, maybe not. Let's not do it. Let's cut up the middle. Yeah, we're gonna find 25. A 13 point game, they're trying to make it 12. People need to get on their feet. We need the hype squad. And that one goes in. And it's an onside kick. Uh oh. We're not gonna get any more chances here. Brown is in the backfield. He's, he's not gonna touch this one most likely. And it's kicked away and Auburn has it it looks like. So we should be good. And they are going to punt it away. They accept defeat, a 12 point game. Fourth and two, they're not even gonna go for it. They're like, ah, who cares? <laughs> it's over. Okay, they're punting it away. Let's see if Brown can get under it. He does, we have two guys to our right. I mean, oh, we're gonna cut back up. We're into Arkansas State territory after that 10 yard return. My God, it's a six point game. They're looking to make it a five point game. And we don't block it, so it's a five point game. 42 seconds left. It's gonna come down to this onside kick. All we can do is really watch from back here, but oh my God, Auburn cannot go down like this. Not to Arkansas State. Let's see what they do. They kick the onside kick. It's got a good bounce, but it looks like it's in Auburn Tigers' hands. Woo! Game is over, 40 to 35. That was really close, holy crap. Quarterback today was 24 for 40, 312 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. He was sacked three times. So couldn't get in the end zone through the air today. Rushing wise, Rawls had 20 carries for 75 yards, 3.7 yard average. He did have three touchdowns though. And receiving, Kevin Gaston, nine receptions, 131 yards. And like I said, there was no passing touchdown, so there's no receiving touchdowns either. And Gaston had one drop today as well. Auburn finds a way to win against Arkansas State. I sure hope so. That was that was a really close game. Let's check our coach trust. So it looks like we will be having a position battle next week's practice for that second string spot. I think we deserve it. I think James Brown is ready to have the second string spot. That might mean we get some carries throughout game time situations because we'll come in for relief for the first stringer. So, I mean, I'm really excited about that. Yes, next week we verse Sanders for the second string spot here on Auburn and we play Mississippi State. So if we win that second string spot, we might get reps in this game and they're a top 25 team. So it's gonna be interesting. If we look at the breakdown, Kirk's going with Mississippi State, even though we're a little bit better than them on paper, but they're just having a really hot season right now and they're ranked. If we beat them, we could be ranked. So, I mean, a lot is going into that game and it's an SEC matchup. So. Uh, a lot is going to be weighing on that. So if we can win that second string spot, that means we're gonna have a chance to compete in that game, at least get maybe 10 or 15 reps. That, that would be great. But guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. And until next time, peace out.